Call of Duty has been a staple in the gaming industry, my life, and countless others. Call of Duty games from COD 1 to Advanced Warfare shape the atmosphere of how we play with others online and how competitive a gamer can be. We all yearn from simple days of putting a disc in, grabbing a controller, sitting with an ice cold drink, and escaping into some mindless action where sometimes you can get your ass handed to you by a 12 year old to being the best hard scoper with that 50 cal. In today's climate though, we have 50 operator packs and tons of massive updates that plague our storage systems. Now, I still love the battlefields and especially the new Modern Warfare 2. I love the game's fluid movement and how every weapon feels impactful. But logging onto Xbox Live account into a fresh COD feels different. Chalk it up to longer load times, or not feeling the identical passion the developers used to have. Each entry could have been better. I mean, I have least favorite CODs that may be someone else's favorite. Player to player connection felt strong, even though you may have seen a host reconnecting occasionally. Though, you had great things like Things unlocking naturally. Suppose I wanted to focus on one gun and get every attachment I could. I could if I wanted to hop on zombies and mow some rotten flesh down. The games had a variety of modes and choices and how you wanted to play. You had Infected, you had Juggernaut, you had Gun Game, you had Deathmatch, you had Free For All, you had Hardcore, you had Domination. Everything in between. The games had a variety of various exciting maps and you that you could just jump around to. The YouTube atmosphere was different as well. There were always competitors, but you had the casual market like Nanners talking about life. Pros don't talk shit, showing off his skill, and Woody's gamer tag giving advice and almost acting like a mentor and sometimes a friend. From the weekly slap to Tim Hansen, this market is still around. Though, everything we love changes and evolves. From FaZe Clan, to Allier, to Tim Hansen, to really anybody else that you can think of that maybe is or used to be in the Call of Duty era. Now, I love change, but you should never forget the little guys, the underdogs, the casual gamers. With those nerds and old-timers, we have an industry and passion that has lasted so long. And I feel like that's why everybody's so excited. That's why Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 are outselling the most games as of late. They're the top 50. There's a reason for that. Years ago, we thought it was our last time turning on that old dusty Xbox 360 Reminiscing on the days of old, getting roasted by an entire lobby, or having sniper battles with our friends on high rise. We had missed the old days, and soon those old days will most likely set again. So cherish the old and new memories we create on some of the best Call of Duty games, maps, zombies, and multiplayer. And remember, loving memories never die as years roll on and days pass by.